Well, welcome to Build a Boat's Got Talent. Our first contestant is Kelly. And what have you got there for us, Kelly? Yeah, Kelly. What you gonna do today? Well, I've been working on this boat for quite a while. Hurry up, kid. Get on with it. Okay, geez. I'm sorry. Here we go. Oh, my goodness. That's amazing. That is so good. That looks tasty. Hey, guys. It's me, Kelly, and welcome back to another video here on that channel. Where today, guys, as you can see, I built a giant burger. You heard it right, guys. A giant burger. You see what happened was I kind of put two of my favorite things together. One is building things, and the other one is food. And this burger is that good that literally everybody behind me is dancing for this burger. Except this guy, Chase. Chase, get out of here. But guys, today I'm going to show you how to make this amazing uh, giant burger in just a few easy steps. So wait a minute. You thought it was just a burger? Guys, you can go inside of this burger house. Look, I've literally got an inside to it as well. It's super cool. I kind of want to put a window on the front, which I'll do with the one that we make, so that I can at least look through the front. It has a light on the roof, and it also, as you can see, has a couple of windows on each side. And guys, this could literally fit every single person inside of this. There's quite a few of us, and uh, it could probably fit everyone inside. As you can see, guys, this is the burger bus. Literally, everybody is now in here sitting down. It's kind of hard to show you guys, but everyone is in here sitting down. And I think we're all ready to go. So let's begin this ride inside of the burger. Are you ready, guys? I'm going to stick the boosters on straight away so you guys can see exactly what is going on. I've just realized there's a torch hanging out the bottom. I'm not too sure why. And somebody left the door open, so I just need to shut that real quick. There we go. Uh, but yes, guys, this is the burger boat in action. I'm thinking of putting something on the roof so you can, like, climb up on the roof. That would be so cool. But yeah, guys, let's create this burger bus. Okay, so here we are, guys, ready to build our burger. So for the sake of this video, I'm going to show you how to make a bit of a smaller burger because the one that I just made took me absolutely ages to make. And I want to show you this one so that you can make it quite quickly just to show off to your friends. If you guys want to make it bigger, then just make it bigger. But guys, the first thing you need to do is come to the building selection right here and you need to get yourself some plain blocks. So I'm going to be using these ones right here. They're like gray, kind of like stone blocks. I'm going to start with these and I'm going to show you the basic outline of the floor you need to make So because this is a smaller one, I'm going to do one two three four five And then I'm going to do one like this and then I'm going to do the exact same here One two three four five and one like this and then five here And then you just do five and one each time make sure that you do the full blocks and not half blocks And then it should add up perfectly just like that now as you can see this is a lot smaller of a burger but like i said guys this is for demonstrational purposes you literally can copy this exactly how i've done it so what i'm going to do is come up again guys and just do the exact same thing i just did but now uh one up so now there's like two layers instead of one which is like really easy to do just like this but yeah just do it all the way around and you'll notice that it starts to take a bit of shape and once you've done this guys you can be Begin doing a bit of coloring in, which is kind of a fun bit. So to color in, guys, simply press 3. If you haven't got the color in tool, you need to buy it with gold. So guys, go work your butts off. Go to the shop and buy this for 1,500 gold. That's what I did. And uh, yeah, now I could uh, just literally color this in with this color right here. It's literally next to the brown that we're going to use, which is this color. And then there's this one right here. So guys, just sort of look at the one I'm clicking at. Use that to color the whole entire bottom of your bun in. Just like this. Like, it's really simple to do. You you just go around clicking it and uh, literally it will color the entire burger in and look we got a whole crowd of people just watching us this is absolutely crazy these people all want to know how to make a delicious burger just like we are so next guys once you have the bottom of the bun done you need to actually do the bottom floor of the bun because otherwise you're just going to fall into the water so what you need to do is grab the metal is what i'm going to use because it's a stronger material and literally just build a floor like this just go the whole way around it should only take a few seconds because it's such a small burger and uh, literally you need to go the whole way around the outside 
outside and then fill the middle in as well and uh, yeah it's gonna help it like float it's gonna help it be strong and more importantly it's gonna stop you falling through the floor so as you guys can see right now I filled the floor in what I'm gonna do is literally color that floor the same color as I did the walls because it's textured it's gonna make a little bit of a difference as you guys can see it looks more like the bottom of a bun you know how it's textured if you really want you know how bread is whiter on the inside you could choose a color like this and just go around and make it lighter on the inside in fact that's the wrong color it's more like this that's it and just make it light on the inside and it will probably look more realistic though it doesn't matter too much because obviously it's only going to be you and maybe your friends inside but that's what i would do i would just go a bit lighter on the inside because it makes it a bit more realistic so guys once you're looking like this you're ready to put your patty in so to do that guys come to the selection right here and pick this one here it's like a marble if you don't have it you probably have the white marble which is this one right here but i'm gonna go with the dark marble and what you need to do is do it one inside of the bun so literally the whole way around you literally want to do it one inside just like i am right now i can delete that one down there but you see i'm going one inside literally the whole way around it has to be like that and that is all you're gonna do remember guys if i'm going too quick just pause the video like literally take your time there is no rush you do literally don't have to rush there's no reason to rush you can actually delete these ones in the middle to give yourself some more space on the inside but as long as on the outside it looks like that you're doing a good job now just do the exact same thing again guys literally by going around the outside like this and going up one more layer and uh, it should look pretty good once you've done that. I just need to make sure that I don't do any doubles because that would really mess it up like that. But something like that looks really good to me. Next, I want to color those in by coming to this brown color right here and simply just clicking all of these. In fact, that looks like a delicious burger bun. I kind of wish I'd used this texture last time because it looks more like beef than what I had. This would also be very good for lettuce if you guys want to try it for lettuce. Uh, you could literally try it for whatever you want. But I think that looks really good for beef. Now what we need to do guys is pretty simple, it is to add our cheese. Now basically what you want to do is come over to this block that you just used or this one which is what we're going with which is like a clay block and we're going to use that now to do our cheese. So the first thing you need to do is just follow the layer that you've already done once over with the cheese just over the top of your burger bun like this and as long as you do that you're going to have a basic cheese but if you want to make your cheese you know stick out a little bit more and just look a bit better then you're going to do some drips of cheese. So, I mean, you might want one there, you might want one here, you might want one there, you definitely want one here, and you might want one there. And then just go around and fill those in with what you just had. So, something like this, like this, you know, just all the way around. I'm going to fill all those gaps in that I just made like that. Don't go too crazy with it, but try and make it look as realistic as possible. And then also you can add some cheese, just sort of, you know, hanging down if you want, like bits hanging down, kind of like this. Maybe, you know, one somewhere else around the back here. I don't know, maybe like one there. I don't know. Just play about with it until you get something that you like. You know, I'm going to put one over here somewhere, maybe on the corner. Maybe just up one a little bit, like, you know, like something like that. Like I say, guys, just play about with it and then simply come to the color selection. Grab a cheese color like this one and color them all in. Now guys, to make this really pop, because obviously it's not going to pop if you just use one color, you're going to want to change up the color a little bit. So what I do is I come over first with one yellow just like this, and then I'm going to select a bit of a darker yellow or a creamier yellow, should I say, and I'm going to come over and just color a few separate ones in to give it that pepper cheese look, and also just to make it look a bit more 3D and better, to be honest. It just looks so much better when you add a bit more depth like that. Now that I have the cheese on, guys, we obviously need to give ourselves some crispy lettuce. Lettuce. <laughs> These guys over here are talking about McDonald's. Callie, don't make me go to McDonald's. They're getting hungry. See, I knew they would just watching this tutorial. But like I said, guys, we need to put lettuce on. So I think I might use this texture for the lettuce. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump up the top here and literally make my lettuce stick out in weird ways that it's never stuck out before. So to do this, guys, kind of just play about with the settings. But you want the uh, lettuce to make like weird patterns. And by weird patterns, I mean just have it like stick out there and like you know come out here and just literally like play about with it until you get something you like but i mean like i said i want the lettuce to look really crazy and uh, all over the place just like lettuce does otherwise it won't look realistic and obviously that is one of the most important things here is to have some realistic lettuce so i'm even going to set one back there and then bring these out a bit and maybe set that back and like i say guys there is no wrong way of doing this there's no right way or wrong way but if it doesn't look good guys then just go back delete it like that and put another one in there's like i said you cannot go wrong and there we go 
that is my lettuce. If you really want, make the lettuce stick out a bit more, but something like that is absolutely fine. Now, guys, simply come over, grab a green, and just color these all in so that it looks like lettuce. I'm going to go with a really green color here because I want my lettuce to look super fresh, super colorful, and super vibrant. Just like that. And now, guys, you're looking at this, and there's a color that is missing. We all know what it is. It's red. And that's because we haven't put our tomatoes in. Now, for the tomatoes, guys, you could pretty much just put them around the lettuce, which is what we're going to try and do here. Or you could put them on top. So if you're putting them around it, you literally just want to go something like this and make it sort of sit back a bit, kind of like that. I'm going to put one like there. I'm also going to put one around this side. Like, just like I say, guys, play about with the settings. There's no wrong or right answer. But as long as it looks good, and that's the important thing here, it has to look good. It literally needs to look good because if it doesn't, people People aren't going to think it looks like a burger. It's going to look more like a, well, a hot dog or something. <laughs> now I just need to put one over here as well. And as long as it looks something like that. That looks pretty good to me. Now, guys, simply color those in with the red color of your choice. I think something like that is pretty good. Same around here, guys. Again, just color these all in the whole way around so they look like tomato. And now what I recommend you do is you come to a green like this and you just choose a green every now and then and just color it in. Again, like I said earlier of the cheese, this just adds a bit of depth to your lettuce. And now what you need to do is come back to the color that you use for your lettuce and basically fill in around the green. Just like that. Now, guys, as you can see, we have the bottom of our burger here looking absolutely delicious. Now we just need to put the roof on. So let's put the lid on and the way to do that is to simply come back to the color we used before which is this thing here and simply copy the base that we have below. Remember guys if you're struggling just pause the video like that you can't go wrong. This is your burger. Remember that this is the still like one I'm showing you. You can make this as big as you want like if you want instead of doing five here you can do like eight here and if you eight then you need more diagonals but it still will look really cool and probably really tasty as well which is the most important thing here if your burger doesn't look tasty and people don't go oh my goodness you're so cool you have an amazing burger then you're doing something wrong because let's be honest this burger looks amazing you and i both want to bite it but we can't so guys that is the top of the burger now what i want to do is start bringing the burger in and this is really simple to do especially if you've done it right and to do that just come one in of what you've already done you should literally be doing five by five you're literally making a five by five box on top of what we just did if you look there's one two three four five and that's the whole way round two three four and then the m15 and now we want to do one more layer which is gonna be done like this so what you want to do is fill these corners in with one and once you fill the corners in just come up and literally build this whole section in in one piece and guys, it should look something like that. Now, you just need to color it in with the color that you use for your burger buns. And as long as you do that, it's going to look good. And then there's only really a couple of other steps left for you guys to do. But they're very important, so make sure you don't skip them. Because as you can see right now, even though this burger is, like, really tasty looking, it needs some sesame seed buns. It definitely needs something done on the inside because it looks really bland uh, on the inside. Because uh, we need to make, like, a house on the inside. And we also need to add a few more things to make it a bit cool. So once we've done this and colored the whole top of our bun, we now need to come and you can either put in random different things, which is what I'd usually do. But this time, because it's a smaller boat, I'm just going to choose a different color and start putting in my sesame seed patches, which is literally done just like this. It makes it a lot easier. Just go over the burger and literally just click some random spots. It doesn't matter which ones you do. It's not like you have to do one way or the other. It should just look good or it won't just like that. That looks really good to me. Oh, I could so eat this burger. Okay, so guys, as you can see, I've broken a hole in. Now I'm going to go and get my window, which is literally right here. And just stick that on the inside of this like that. And as you can see, that looks cool. I'm going to do it on the same side around here. So simply just remove these four blocks and put a window in uh, just like that. And then you can change the color of the window. So I want it to match the brown that's there. So I'm just going to click that and make it dark. Same as this window. Then I want to do it on the front as well because I want to have a big windows on the front. So what I'm going to do here, guys, is a little bit different. I'm actually going to use the glass blocks. And I'm just going to put the glass blocks in like this so I can have a nice big window for me to steer with and see what is going on in the real world out the front. As you can see, that looks really cool to me. I know it's taken away a bit of the beef burger look, but considering this has to be a boat as well, you know, it's it's got to be functionable. Next, guys, I want to put a door in. So to do that, I'm going to grab a door and just put it right there. I'm also going to change the color of the door by literally coming to the color selection and making it brown. And now what I want to do is basically give myself an inside 
inside. So listen, if I want to make this a car boat, I can make this a flipping car burger boat, whatever I want. I've got the wheels and everything for it. I could just stick them on the side right now. In fact, you dare me to do it. Okay, so it's connected up, and I think it's going to work. This is the first racing burger ever. And now what I want to do is fill this up with everything that I like. So first of all, I just want to put some stars up in the sky because I love stars. They look pretty cool. I also need some light in here, so I'm just going to grab some torches and put them in the background like this. But guys, that is it. That is how you make a burger, and now I've turned it into a burger car inside of Build a Boat. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking exactly what these guys are asking. Can we see it? And the answer is yes. Yes, you can. But I see a lot of people here, and you're all my subscribers, and I feel like everyone here should get a seat. So I need to count one, two, three, four, five. So I've got to put five seats in here somehow, and I think I have an idea. I'm going to add a spatula that these guys can sit on literally by putting chairs on it. Where are my thrones? Here they are. I'm literally just going to throw on four thrones on the back. That these guys can all sit on literally every single one of these guys. Okay, so everybody is on their chairs right now. I'm in the captain's chair. Guys, let's do this. Here we go. I'm so excited. Is this actually going to work? Wait, what? I can actually steer this burger boat. Oh, no. It's steering really badly. It's steering so badly. Oh, my goodness. This is crazy. What the heck? <laughs> Oh my goodness, this is so weird. Somebody just said, Callie, did you get your driver's license from a Happy Meal? I think I did. I don't even think I got a driver's license. Look at this. He's like, Captain, what is going on? This is actually crazy. I wonder how well the guys at the back are going to do who are on the spatula. Like, that looks really dangerous. Oh no, we lost somebody. Somebody literally fell off. What? John. John is dead. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh oh, the spatula's flipping the burger. We just flipped the burger. <laughs> we literally just flipped the burger. He's saying, ow, my leg. Oh, no. Wait, they're still alive in the back? How are we doing in the front? Yeah, we're both there. This is this is insane. I'm literally flipping this burger right now. <laughs> this is insane. What? We nearly just got stuck up there. That would have been crazy. This is literally a last man standing. I am so nervous. Oh, wait. We made it to Candyland. Not Candyland. <laughs> Guys, look at us from the side. Oh, okay, we disappeared. We're now looking the other way. That is so strange. But look, you can just see us all in here. Look how happy we all look. Oh, jeez. Okay, I'm, I'm getting cooked alive. Okay, we all just died. We literally all just died. Wait. Somebody's still alive. But yes, guys, that is going to be it from me today. If you guys did enjoy this video, then please do hit the subscribe button. What are you waiting for? Alternatively, leave a comment or suggestion in the comment section down below. Remember to like the video if you like the video. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye. Now I want to make a hot dog.